Is FBM Fox actually a good tool for Facebook automation, Facebook dropshipping automation? It's for sure the most hyped one and I see ads for it constantly all the time and most of the people I know use FBM Fox but is it actually a good software? Does the hype stand for its value and is it worth purchasing and using? In this video I want to give you my review and honest opinion on FBM Fox from a perspective of someone who's been dropshipping on Facebook for a very long time. I also mostly focus on Facebook shops and I've been using a different software before, but because of the circumstances that I'm gonna explain to you in a minute, I'm forced to use something else. And now I decided to go with FBM Fox. I'm gonna give you pros and cons of FBM Fox, what I found challenging, what I think can be improved, and what I think it's absolutely amazing about this program. So if you're thinking about it, if you wanna see if FBM Fox is a good investment, if you wanna scale up your Facebook marketplace dropshipping business, this is a great video for you because you're gonna hear from someone that done it for a quite long time and I've run a bunch of different softwares before. So let's see what the hype is all about. Hello, my fair dropshippers. My name is Patrick and what I do here on this channel, I talk about Facebook marketplace dropshipping. I also have a free Facebook group that you can join where we talk about dropshipping on different marketplaces such as eBay or Facebook, as well as Facebook shops. And I have a private Discord channel where you can join for $7 a month and participate in our weekly meetings when we hang out and talk about dropshipping. If you're interested in joining, the links for these groups are down below. But let's talk about FBM Fox, or actually I should start, let's talk about what I've been using before FBM Fox, because as I mentioned earlier, I've been using a different program before FBM Fox. However, the creator of that program decided to stop the whole thing because of the personal issues and that software, the automation software that I've been using is no longer available to the public. However, I never tested FBM Fox. I don't, I don't actually know how FBM Fox works. I watched a few videos about it. I explored it a little bit, but it wasn't anything to an extent that I would fully understand how the system works. So for the last week, I decided to give it a shot, see how it works because eventually I will have to move all my listings to something and I need a software that will do auto repricing, auto restocking and help me with listing. And that's what this program does. FBM Fox is a great tool whenever you want to scale up because it will help you with tracking the price changes on your supplier website and restocking your Facebook marketplace or Facebook shop. And that's actually the first good thing about FBM Fox. It works with both Facebook marketplace and Facebook shop. I mostly sell on Facebook shops because I find them more effective. However, I know there's a lot of people that use regular marketplace and this program works with both. If you sign up for IBM Fox and use my code right here that you can see on the screen and also you will find it down in the description, you're gonna get a seven day trial to test it out that program and see if you actually like it or not. So last week I signed up for FBM Fox and as you can see they offer two plans or actually they offer a feature that it's free and then another thing is their regular plan. But let me explain the pricing here. So the lister, the tool that allows you to list items from your supplier to a Facebook marketplace, it's free, which is great. Basically anyone can download FBM Fox and speed up the process of listing items to their Facebook marketplace. So big plus to FBM Fox for that. However, if you want the restocking, price tracking, you have to buy their software. And the pricing is based on the amount of listings you're gonna have. The more listings you have, the more money you will pay for the software. The lowest program, the one that probably most of the people will start with, is 29 a month, which is an okay price. However, higher tiers cost more money. If you're planning on having 500 products, you're gonna pay $49. 1,000 products, it's 69. 2,000 products, it's 99. I just find this pricing based on the amount of listings kinda, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I think that's one thing that FBM Fox could improve on. So now we know where to get FBM Fox and how much it costs. Let's talk about installation. So the program operates based on Chrome extension that you can download from their website. However, there's also a dashboard that you can access when you go to their main website and log into your account that you will do most of the work at. This is where you track orders, your inventory and set up templates. The installation is pretty easy for someone like me, meaning someone who's been using other softwares in the past and been doing marketplace dropshipping for a while because it's very similar to other type of softwares that I've used. However, 
it is a little bit confusing and I think that's something that FB and Fox could improve on. Don't get me wrong, they have a resource and help tab where they have articles and step by steps how to do something. What they're lacking at is the basic instructional video on the top of their page. I think that's something that could be added and it's something simple to do. They already have a lot of resources videos on their YouTube channel. So FB and Fox, if you're listening to me, just add basic video explaining how to get a Chrome extension, how to set it up. So make it easier for someone that's completely new to dropshipping, how to set up your program. Let's talk about interface now. The interface is really, really good. I mean, it's really fast, really smooth. I like the colors, I like the design. Whoever does the marketing over there, doing a really good job. You guys nail the UI, you guys nail your website. Everything is smooth, fast, and looks great. It's also very user-friendly. So if you are not very tech savvy, this program should be relatively easy to use. Trust me, like this is one of the simplest dropshipping software I use. So no complaints in the interface. As I mentioned earlier, they offer something called a free lister. And what that tool does is basically allows you with very few clicks to list an item from your supplier website. And speaking of the suppliers, I believe they support like 25 suppliers or something. I, I'm not sure actually what the number is, but it's a good amount. And they support the, the main suppliers that most of the people use, such as Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Home Depot. You're gonna find them on FBN Fox. The creator of the program also mentioned that if you wanna use a specific supplier and you don't see it on the list, just reach out to them and they will add it to you. And I think that's something that could be added to this program, an option for dropshippers to add their custom suppliers. I think if that feature would be added to FBN Fox, it will add a great value to FBN Fox. But yeah, let me go back to the free lister. So a lister is basically a tool that allows you to list very easily items from your supplier website to the Facebook shop and to the regular Facebook marketplace. This tool is free and it works really good. It's really fast and pull ups the images really quickly, gets a description really quickly. But I have one objection. That's because my previous program was able to do that and I'm a little bit spoiled. I think FBM Fox Lister lacks a little bit of optimization. I'm a big guy of optimization listings. I don't just copy and paste stuff. I modify the description a little bit. I usually delete a bunch of stuff from the description and I also change the, the title because the title on Facebook Marketplace, that's the key. That, that's where I want to put the most valuable keywords and delete all the garbage that's not necessary. And I think that's something that that lister is not doing so well. I mean, you can shuffle the title a little bit, which allows you to pick the keywords that you wanna use, but I think this feature could be a little bit improved. I think the keywords that the program is picking are not the most optimal ones. When changing the description, I think if there will be an option to change the description on the supplier website instead of on the listing would also speed up the flow of uploading listings and a lot of people will find that valuable. So if that's something that can be implemented, I think it will be a great benefit to FBM Fox. But overall, it's working good. As a free tool, it's working amazing. Big plus to Airbnb Fox. Let's talk about Facebook shop fee. I mostly focus on Facebook shops because I find them superior to the regular marketplace and it's also easier to manage them. And the big benefit of Facebook shops is that you can connect a data feed of your inventory to your Facebook shop. So that's something that FBM Fox allows you to do it. Basically, FBM Fox gives you a link to your internal data feed that you can simply just copy and paste into data feed on Facebook shop. And that way, where there are any changes in the program, FBM Fox program, these changes are automatically implemented into your shop. So that's where the restocking, repricing happens because FBM Fox can know what items are your on your supplier website, which items are you tracking, and the changes on your supplier website will be automatically transferred through the data feed to your Facebook shop. So the setup is pretty easy. All you have to do is just copy the link from FBM Fox feed and put it in your Facebook shop 
data feed and the whole repricing works pretty smoothly but here's me picky patrick if there will be an option to connect fbn fox to google sheets i think there will be a good benefit for fbn fox because that way if you're trying to sell on different marketplaces not just facebook shop or facebook marketplace but let, let's say ebay or maybe shopify or maybe amazon or whatever this one list could be shared between all these platforms i don't know if that's possible if you can only connect it to the fbn fox sheet i was able to connect to my google sheets on the previous program i was using so again i'm a little bit spoiled but if fbn fox could do that as well i think they'll be superior and will add a lot of value to fbn fox okay so now you connect to your feed what are you gonna do next is you're gonna set up a template and what template is is basically your set of rules for every item you're gonna list for example you can set up a footer or a header on your listings description something that it's always going to be included in your listings i use a header in which i explain that i don't ship to hawaii and alaska and i copy the sentence on every of my listings and you can set this up automatically in your template on your fbm fox template also you can set up the auto repricing rule for example i usually aim for 25 to 30 percent margins you can set them up on fbm fox that way whenever you put your items from your supplier to to the fbm fox software always apply the same rule setting up templates is super easy and they work really smooth usually there's no complications the program applies these rules super easy i'm impressed so kudos to fbm fox now let's talk about the most essential part of this program okay updating restocking and repricing your inventory this is the main reason why you're gonna use facebook automation tools such as fbm fox so as i mentioned earlier everything is done through the data feed that you connect from fbm fox to the facebook shop installation is easy fbm fox can do it on the hourly basis which is really good however when i was importing my data feed from fbm fox to my shop i encountered some issues some of my listings did not get imported and that's something that you can expect usually that happens with a lot of programs okay so i was expecting this to happen but that's still inconvenient and i'm not sure what happened because everything was pulled out correctly all the information all the data was set up pretty easily so i'm not sure what happened and i'm trying to work this out right now but the process is pretty smooth it recognized that the items are out of stock it changed the prices as well automatically i didn't encounter any issues besides the initial upload works great works smooth big plus and speaking of all of that fbm fox also allows you to do a bulk upload meaning you can upload like thousands of listings if you want at the same time because you can just do it from the data feed that's really cool but i personally don't really use this feature and the main reason why is because i optimize every listings i list and with the back upload i'm unable to optimize my listings so cool tool but i don't use it so what fbm fox can do is whenever you get an order you can send this order to fbm fox and copy the information of your buyer such as the address etc and paste them with one click to your supplier when you make an order for this item that's really cool and the process is also very smooth test it out no complaints this feature works great all right so this is my final verdict would i recommend fbm fox yes i think this tool is really helpful for the beginners like if you're starting out fbm fox is probably the tool you want to go with i use all their softwares in the past and i know how they work but what i find amazing about fbm fox is that it's super user friendly it's really friendly for people that are starting out the ui the design the smoothness it's really great and and that's where the fbm fox shines the overall operation of it is really good very easy to set up and works great but there are a few things that i can improve on based on my experience with different softwares that i use one of the things is the pricing i think they can restructure the pricing or something because when you're gonna get to the higher tiers with more listings it gets a little bit pricey and i get the idea it's because you make more sales so you can spend more money on the software i get that however the thing with marketplace dropshipping is that you actually need to have a lot of listings 
in order to make money and a lot of times it's a number game so a lot of times you're gonna end up having a lot of listings and making just enough maybe restructuring the tiers or something will be a good idea i don't know just a suggestion another suggestion would be adding the optimizer meaning something that will allow you to modify the description and the title on your supplier website i think that will be a big plus too ability to add google sheets as a data field source because that way you can kind of outsource it everything to a bunch of different marketplaces at once also if there will be an option to add your custom supplier because let's face it at the end game you're trying to diversify your suppliers and have some unique suppliers to increase your margins that would be also cool i know that fbn fox guy said that they can add it whoever you want it you just need to reach out to them but if your user had this option i think it would be a good plus just saying in general i think it's a pretty good tool especially since they offer a free lister for anyone who sign ups and if you decide to try out fbn fox don't forget to use my code or the link down below for fbn fox so you're gonna get the free trial to test it out if you're new into facebook marketplace dropshipping game this is probably the program you want to start with because just of the simplicity and smoothness of it it's gonna work great for you great ui great design and i spoke to the owner a few times he's very helpful very humble at least he seems very humble very modest at least he seems very modest so i think there is a good team behind the project it's just i'm being a little bit spoiled and i would like to see a little bit more features but yeah good job at being fox all right so if you want to learn more about dropshipping you should probably join our free facebook group or seven dollar a month paid discord group where we have weekly meetings on thursdays and we discuss dropshipping this is the base source of information because i learn something every new on these meetings because even i need like a source of information facebook market based dropshipping is not like a old thing that's been for a while and you know we have a setup of rules like this is kind of built on the go and through communication we figure things out and we know what works what not and we update each other on these things so I find it very valuable and if you want to get serious about it or you just want to learn more i think seven dollars a month is not a bad deal i also give lists of like 50 listings that you can list here and there that i found doing product research to the members of my discord so yeah just join but if you want to take a real dropshipping course on facebook marketplace there are two courses i recommend you're gonna find the links to them down below really great this is academy that will teach you dropshipping how to do this stuff from a to z really good stuff but i think that will be it i'll see you in the next video take care